Libra, welcome to your Astro Flower Weekly Reading, going from the 26th of June through to the 2nd of July. Thank you very much for being here. Hope you get the best out of this reading. Um, yes, oh, thank you very much for your support for this channel. Let's just see what's going on here. There are loads of cars that want to fly out there. Maybe Offerings of Love is going to end that solitude. Uh, <laughs> that was just a quick sort of off-the-cuff sort of thing. I'm not taking that. Let's just see uh, what your overall energy is here. Temperance. Hmm, patience, certainly not your strong point. I think we did see it last week, actually, with the new, this patience thing. Um, yeah, it's the tossing of those two cups from one side to another, mulling things over. And I think energy's almost, I, the, the feeling I'm getting off of this is like energy is waiting for you to make that decision, make, waiting for you to make that, that forward step. Once you make that forward step, the universe can kind of go, oh, right, okay, now I know how to help them. So I think energy is being patient with you more than anything else, rather than you having to be patient. Yeah. On, it's, uh, on your karmic path, on your relationship side, uh, time to get on. Um, it's time to start planting. It's time to start working. It's time to start putting that foot forward. Uh, that's what it's saying here. Um, and it's also about the longer term plan as well. Putting your foot forward into something that is going to create a lot of things for you in the future. But it's long term plan. And it's taking that first step um, in that direction. And the moment you do, energy and the universe will help you out here, I think. Um, yeah, energy and the universe will help you out. Let's just see what's going on with the, um, the universe here. Oh, seven of wands is the universe helping you to defend your pathway possibly that could well be it but I also I think the universe is sort of saying here you know in this field in the background hang on a second let me just deal with my pebbles in this field in the background it needs to be planted and you need to get on and do the work that's what the karmic mission is all about and the universe here is almost sort of saying there's no other way around it you've got to take that wand and head down your path you've got to do it and it's not going to let you off lightly it's going to be that you know the universe is going to be sort of kind of going come on libra don't dilly dally stop messing you know you've taken enough time to procrastinate about it think about every sort of scenario it should be very clear for you now and it's now time to get on and move i think that's what the universe and the universe is defending that karmic path in a way by sort of saying, you know, now it's time to get on and do. The lawnmower stopped. It's not, you know, let them, they've stopped and you've got to get on. <laughs> Let's just see what your past self is sort of like influencing you. Yeah, they're asking you to take this leap of faith. Within your relationships here, you, you know, you can prepare the cake in the best way you possibly can. Until you've cooked it and eat it, you're not going to know about it. And that's where the leap of faith is, is putting it in the oven and trusting what you've done. So then when the cake comes out, you'll kind of go, I love that cake. And I do love cake. Anybody who knows me knows I love cake. Um, and that's what your past self is sort of doing. It's sort of saying, you know, now is the time. Leap of faith. Go, 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 go. Your future self is this work and good quality work as well within your relationships. You're going to find that, you know, if you if you take that step forward, you're going to find that actually you've really got your place and it's good quality place. It's a it's a secure place. Um, it's a position that you find rewarding, very, very rewarding and keeps you really focused on. Yeah, enjoying those relationships, those connections with people that are around you in a very beautiful way, in a very, um, in a very uh, material way. And I don't mean material as in sort of like materialistic. I mean material as in sort of like actual physical connections with people and physical um, um, gratitude uh, in life. That, yeah, things are working well. You get enough time to do... Go wandering off, you know, with your with your partner, with your friends or your family. It's just giving you that good quality physical time with other people. Let's just see what's going on in your material front. Hmm. On your karmic path, you get the two of wands. The uh, two of wands, sorry. The two of pentacles. There's no time like the moment to 
concentrate on what is working for you. What is really working for you? And you should recognize that. Yes, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to give up on all, everything else. It just means that uh, in order for you to do what you want to do, you've got to have a certain aspect of it that is actually working. Uh, for you and it's concentrating on that side of it which is going to give you that security and the ability to explore all the other avenues in life in your material path so I might have a shop and I might want to sell um, spoons and there's a very small market for particular spoons but I'm selling plates cups knives and everything like that which is giving me the security I don't need to make the money out of those spoons so I'm actually allowing my heart to go into the idea of that joy of working with spoons you know so yeah i you know that's the sort of thing that's your karmic path here let's just see what's going on how the universe is trying to you know that's what they're trying to bring into your life through this security through this evident path through this concentrating on the things that are working for you all of a sudden allows the universe can allow, you know, help you to explore that heart side of your career path, of your business or your projects and stuff like that. It's opening, helping you to open up to the possibilities of a brighter tomorrow, you know, a beautiful tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's it's certainly, you know, uh, the universe has really got your back here, and I think they they got your back in very different ways. But very similar sort of ways you know on this side here it's that feeling sort of kind of get yeah go after your heart don't don't go half measures go after your heart in the past you might have been very cautious about investing in something or um, letting go of one side in order to go over to another leaving one job to go to another job um, you know, uh, settling on one part of your business in order to expand another part of your business. And you've been very prudent of how you invest your time, money, effort, energy into situations. And I think that's, I think that's testament to you. Um, I think that's helped you a lot, actually. Uh, and now it's, you should realize from that, from that past day, you should realize what you should be investing in and what is now working for you because your future is calling you to your right for righteous path of what you should be doing in regards to the material world in regards to your job your business there is an opportunity that is arising for you that this is what you should be doing and if you feel like that i would follow it and go with it concentrate on it and it will bring you much more than just security finances it will bring you as well happiness joy security um a feeling of being whole with yourself you know so yeah i think energy is being very uh patient with you and now it's a kind of and it's saying here and these two here this is your future it's now it's a case of putting your foot forward into this whole new cycle which is coming up for you and that this new cycle has everything that you so desire regardless of whether you're looking at your relationship side or your material side whichever way you look at it this new cycle is what you should be doing and it's filled with huge amounts of opportunities and abundance for you absolutely beautiful that's what's waiting for you at the end of the rainbow just go ahead and do it. You only have to put one foot in front of the other, Libra. And I think it's going to really help you out. Do you enormous amount of good. Let's just see what the light seers cards are trying to bring to us. There's loads jumping in there. We've got the fall, the leap of faith. You've had that over there. The strength card staying true to who you are. And the queen of pentacles and insurance that are coming up. You get a three quick reading on both decks by the looks of things. So let's just see uh, what the temperance card, why is the universe patient with you? Yeah, because you've got this judgment card here. They know that this is where you're heading. So patience, energy is sort of kind of going, it has faith in you. And they're sort of saying, they, they know this is where you're heading. You're heading to your rightful place, your righteous place, your judgment. You know, so when you get to the end of your line, the end of your life, you'll stand there and your, your judgment will be kind of going, yes, I did it. That's my judgment. 
do it. Put one foot in front of the other. Let's just see what's going on with um, the Knight of Pentacles. What's this work that needs to be in instigated on your karmic path? This is according to messages, and I think you're getting messages within you. I think you know this, really, secretively within you, Libra. You know it, and you are showing a certain sign, uh, a certain degree of resistance to it. Let's put it that way. Which is a shame, because you're only holding yourself back. Act upon, you know, those initial messages, those initial gifts that are coming in those uh, messages from the universe and stuff like that, from your own self, from within inside you. I think the, your own side is saying to you, just go ahead and do it. It's actually screaming at you. With the seven of wands, you get the two of wands. This is what I've said about the universe. The universe is not gonna allow you off. This has been planned. It's within you. And the universe is sort of saying to you, stick to the plan. They're not gonna be the universe in your regards to your relationships. They're not gonna give you any slack here. They, they know that you can do it. They know that you can do this good quality work. They know you've got it in you, Libra. And they're just sort of saying to you, you've got this, Libra. Go ahead and do it. Stick to the plan. You know, it could be traveling. It could be lots of things in regards to your relationship there. A leap of faith. This is what's been bringing you up. You know at some point, you this pathway, you, by seeing the pathway in front of you a long way, and you're very good at doing this, you know that there's a leap of faith coming up. And it's, it's within you. You know it. And it's going to bring you the assurance which is going to make you feel like that you're winning. That things, you're going to, things are finally working in your favour. Because you've taken the leap of faith and taken that step forward. And it could be a case of taking that step forward and saying something to someone. Or, you know, saying to... You know, saying to a friend or a, um, a family member, sort of saying, hey, like, I'd like to go for a bicycle ride. And then kind of saying, yeah, OK, that'd be a great idea. Can I come with you? That sort of thing. It's going to make you, that's that leap of faith. It doesn't have to be a massive leap of faith. You know, it can be very small, but that small opening can lead to massive things. A whole new cycle within your life. Not a bicycle, a new cycle. Um, and it's going to make you, when you do this leap of faith, you're going to feel like you're winning. You really are. You get the hangman. Did you get the hangman? Oh, I thought you got the hangman somewhere else. No, the hangman. So through this good quality work that you are heading to, into, and this is what you're going through is in a way, it's in your near, very near future, you're going to see things differently that actually, I've done this like this and I thought it was going to go badly and it didn't. Oh, wow. You know, this is where that, that's, you know, you're going to quell all your doubts. It's going to shake a little bit of your foundations. But it's actually going to make you realise that you shouldn't be so sort of doubtful of yourself. And there's a real eye-opener scenario coming for you in regards to the relationship side. On your material side, you get the Ten of Swords. A lot of people have been getting the Ten, the ten of Swords. Ten of Wands, sorry. The Ten of Wands in this position. Uh, a lot of people have been getting it. I think you've, because you've got this, you've done that good due diligence, yeah? And you've been very particular about it and very prudent and seen the scenario and stuff like that. You've all of a sudden, you have a lot of wealth with you. A lot of accumulation of material, as it were. And this material could be understanding, knowledge, certificates, whatever it is, it's very valuable. And you can use this to negotiate. You can use this material to negotiate with the material paradigm, to create a new world, a new rhythm within you, um, a new abundance within you, by using the accumulation that you have and using it as a negotiating tool as you go forward. So as you concentrate on the things that are working for you, use your what you've accumulated over the past in order to, you know, um, to um, uh, assure the what you need out of the scenario. And that's what you want to need. You need to fall in love with yourself and what you're doing. There is no doubt about it. Let's just see what's going on with the Ace of Cups here. How is the universe sort of influencing you? Well, you've got temperance. 
Yeah, I think this is sort of saying, you know, once you get this under your belt, once you get these things that are really working for you and you build that security and you finally realize you're on your path, then you can start exploring your heart. And I think the universe is being patient about that, but it's just almost titillizing you, sort of saying, come on, come on, come on. You know, uh, trying to encourage you out of your shell in a way. Um, I think it's a really, really good thing. Um, and I think the universe is being really kind to you here, really, really beautifully interacting with you here on your material front. With the three, with the four of pentacles, you get the three of wands. Yeah, it's now time to go. It's now time to put your foot forward. It's now time for you to invest in a certain project or actually immerse yourself in something. Um, it, your prudence, which has been brilliant, it's served you, it's really helped you out. But now it's the time to stop procrastinating and go on that journey. Go on that journey to your judgment. To be the person who you know you should be. Yeah. And with that judgment card, you get the Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. This is when you start putting your foot forward. You're going to realize the universe is going to help you loads. Energy is going to help you loads to get exactly what you need in order to do what you need to do. And there is no doubt about it. Once you step into your karmic path, you are going to, all of a sudden, you're going to realize that you've got everything that you need. And it's going to make you feel incredibly empowered as you go into this new cycle. You're going to really feel on top of the world. Really are. Okay, let's, on top of the world. And it's the world card. I didn't realize that when I said that, actually. Uh, so the world card here, let's see what we're clarifying with the world card. We're clarifying it with the Empress. Absolutely brilliant. What is the Empress creating? She's giving birth to the, to the world. She's giving birth to the new cycle. You should know this, Libra, that you have orchestrated, you have manifested a lot of this. Yes, if you concentrate on your doubts that's, and your fears, that's what you will be living. That's understandable. But now you should start realizing that you can create a lot of brilliance, abundance, joy, happiness within your life and she has control over that the empress has control over her emotions that is her domain and then she applies her energy which is the sun which is behind her and her spirit which is the moon to create the earth to create the world this whole brand new cycle you are creating this and you should know this because you're stepping into your righteous path. You just need to pay, take that first step. That's all you need to do. Once you do that, things are really going to flow in your favor. There you go, Libra. Don't forget, we've got your monthly readings coming out next week. Um, yes, I've done your solstice readings as well, uh, which you'll find on our channel. I thank you very much for all the support you give to this channel. That means sharing, liking, subscribing, everything like that, very much. Whichever way in which you do it, I really do appreciate it and I love you for it. Um, yes, I guess all there is left to say is, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.